Hi, I'm Darren. I'm with Virtus Ammo. We're the distributor for True Velocity. And today we're going to do a ballistics test on FBI standard ballistic gel. It's going to be out about 20 yards. Um, standard for FBI. They're looking for 12 to 18 inches of penetration. And we're going to see how this does. All right, so for this next test today, this afternoon, we are going to take this Remington 700 and we're going to put one round in each one of those ballistic gels and see if it matches the FBI standard. And just see how this uh, performs. All right, so right here we've got the two blocks we shot. Um, we thought it not being bonded, that it would trap the bullet, but it uh, looks like it didn't quite. These blocks right here are about 15 and a half inches, so didn't necessarily over penetrate. Um, in this block over here, you can see where the jacket started coming apart um, into the wound channel, but uh, let's cut it open and see what this wound channel looks like. All right, right here, you can. We're deep enough now to start seeing where some of the some of the uh, copper popped off. All right, let's open this up. As you can see now, it's a it's a high velocity round, and it did a pretty impressive uh, wound entry track. Um, so what we're going to do next, just to run another test, I'm going to put a fresh block up right here. And I'm going to put this one in behind it just so we can catch the bullet and uh, see what it looks like. So let's go do that. All right, so here you can see our two blocks. Um, you can see the entry here, the wound channel coming through. Right over here, if you look just right, you can see the copper jacket is just sitting there. Didn't quite come out. Um, we walked up, the blocks were just like this. Right here, you can see the lead core. Looks like it popped out. You can even see it just leaving lead behind. And it hit the face of the second block and just bounced off. You can see the strike face right here. The round core, the uh, copper core is just sitting right there. And it's something we see a lot. So had this been a full 18 inches, it probably would have, would have stopped right where we expected it to. But as you can see, it didn't even have enough to penetrate a skin layer. So there we have it. All right, these are the two pieces. This is the one that fell in between and this is the one we dug out of the first um, ballistic gel block. We're gonna put them over here on the scale and see how much weight retention it kept. All right, we got the wind blowing a little bit. So looks like we kept about 78 grains out of the 168 grains. Um, that's pretty good. All right, um, this was the point of furthest penetration or the piece that went the furthest. So I'm going to take the caliper here and we're going to measure maximum and minimum spread and see what that looks like. All right, that measurement there looks like 0.21. All right, and that one looks like 2526. All right. Well, in conclusion, I would say that after spending 12 years in law enforcement and shooting a bunch of different rounds, um, penetration was good. It kept a whole bunch of its, uh, pretty substantial amount of its grain weight through the 15 and a half inches um, for an open air round, especially given the accuracy it's demonstrated today. I think this would be a pretty, pretty good law enforcement round. Um, particularly if you're not shooting through barriers, given that it's not bonded. But uh, yeah, for open air accuracy and, and putting down a target, this will definitely do it for you. All right, thanks for watching today.